He's made a cutting with four tracks underneath his original layout and made four London Underground tube trains by hand to shoot along through the tunnels. Now it's a great idea if you tend to have arguments over who is going to be the station master because this network needs a separate controller and I reckon I might just be the woman for the job because there's not much I don't know about the London Underground these days. It is the oldest in the world. It carries millions of people under the city every day and its engineers are currently building miles of new tunnels. The first lines on the London Underground were opened in 1863. Over the years, many tunnels have been abandoned and new ones dug. The newest of them all is the Jubilee Line extension. The line starts at Green Park near Buckingham Palace. It runs under some of the most famous buildings in Britain and under the River Thames to London's East End. A year ago, I walked some of the new tunnels with engineer Marcus Karakashan. Marcus showed me how the tunnels are dug, some by hand and some by machine. Now I was hoping to drive a train through these very tunnels. The new passenger trains are still being built, but their drivers can be trained on a computer simulation of the finished line. Oh, yeah. So Andy, is this what the inside of one of the real cabs will look like? Exactly what it looks like. Wow. How exciting. Okay, how do I drive it? Okay, this is the dead man's handle. To drive the train, you have to turn the handle round and, and keep it held round. Push it forward to make it go and basically pull it back to make it stop. And what's so special Everything. about this? Why do you use these? If the driver was to let go of that for any reason, then the train will automatically stop. It's a safety device. So that's going straight along the track, driving the train, but what happens when I get to a station? When you come into a station, at the end of each platform, there's a, a, a board at the end of the platform. The green part of the board, you need to stop with it in that window, because the stopping is quite critical. How easy is that? Takes practice. <laughs> OK, Katie, you can go when you're ready. Here we go. Oh! And we're off. Hold tight, everybody. Oh, this is a bit close, going under this bridge. Ah, don't look. I hope normal drivers don't think that <laughs> when they're going under bridges. Don't look, shut your eyes. Oh, is this a station? Hang on, wait passengers, I'm coming. Stop, 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 where's the green thing, where's the green thing? Oh, <laughs> too fast. Sorry folks, next time. The drivers of the new trains will have to stop at exactly the right spot in order for the doors to open. I was desperately looking for a green board at the end of each platform. All right, that's the alarm going off to tell me I'm going too fast. It was incredibly hard to stop in the right place. And I've flown through again. Oh, slow, please. Oh no! Come on! Right, just pretend there was no station there. <laughs> this is terribly embarrassing. Three stations and I hadn't managed to stop at any of them. My passengers were getting worried and so was I. Hi Andy. Hi. As you've probably just seen, I'm uh, quite good at overshooting the stations. Why am I doing it? <laughs> when you see the station, pull the handle back to the first notch and then start braking earlier. Ah, now there's a station coming. Don't worry, folks, I'm coming. Here we go. There's alarms going off all around me, but I'm just... There, on the side, was the green board. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I love you. Right, OK, time for my lovely passengers. On you come! Here they all go. I'm going to shut the doors early, make that man run. <laughs> he did as well. <laughs> Excellent. He got a fright. And green light, so go. A few more hours in the simulator and, well, not a complete disaster. It was time to drive an underground train for real. Special works trains are the only ones currently allowed in the tunnels. 
This train is one of 14 used to lay cable through the miles of tunnel and to make deliveries to the stations that are still being built. Every one of them has got a name. This one is called Anne-Marie. Derek Weller is Anne-Marie's driver. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Would you like to sit in the driver's seat? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, it's cosy in here. Yeah. <laughs> Early in the morning, we started out from Stratford Depot above the ground. The trains have to start early because from 8 o'clock all the lines are closed to allow workers safe access to the tunnels. I was taking cables and wall tiles to North Greenwich Station. Right, this is where we've got to be careful because we're going to go down the gradient and there's the portal entrance, that's the tunnel entrance down there. We've got I was being very careful. We went under the ground at Canning Town Portal. Breaking. And release it again, push it forward. Right forward, like that. So where are we going under in this tunnel? We should be going under the River Thames shortly, any minute. Ooh. Hope there's no leaks in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although it looks quite different, driving this train was very similar to driving the simulator. Just one handle to control the power. But there was no green board to look out for in the stations. So Derek, this is North Greenwich Station, is it, that we're approaching? It is indeed, yes. Now, I have, I've driven on the Jubilee Line. <laughs> Do you think you could stand the horn just to warn everybody that we're coming along? With pleasure. I have to warn you, on the simulator I uh, had a bit of a problem stopping at station. No, uh, that's OK. Sort it. Oh, lovely there job. There you have it. Lovely right. job. Thanks a lot, Derek. Okay. You're a marvellous teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bye. And there you have it, one delivery. Time for a quick look around the station, I reckon. I visited North Greenwich last year. It looked like this, just bare concrete everywhere. But now it's begun to be filled in. You can see that it is really going to be a station, eventually. The station walls will be covered with millions of blue tiles. I thought I'd lend a hand. La la la, look at that. Wow, lovely. Well, it'll be fine with a bit of polish. There's still a huge amount of work to be done on the Jubilee Line extension. The stations aren't yet ready for passengers and they won't be travelling on trains like that. They'll be on trains like this. The first of the new trains are currently being tested above ground, but they're not taking passengers. The engineers have been using lumps of metal instead. When all the building and testing is complete, the Jubilee Line extension will be ready for its first paying passengers. And that should be in just over a year from now. The Hibbersy Museum in London. It's called Going Underground, and there's actually a tube simulator there that you can... But back in 1997, the only trains that could travel on the line were goods trains, and they asked me to drive one. Don't panic though, before they'd let me loose on a tube, I had to have some serious training on a simulator. Oh, and we're off. Hold tight, everybody. The idea was to stop the train by the green sign at the end of the station platform. But it's easy to miss them. Stop, stop, stop! Where's the green thing? Where's the green thing? Oh! <laughs> Too fast. Sorry, folks. What is really weird is that I'm whizzing through a tunnel on a tube train right now, and I actually saw this tunnel being built when I first joined Blue Peter. I walked along here, a little bit slower than this, obviously. The building of the Jubilee Line extension is the single biggest addition to the London Underground in 25 years. The line starts at Green Park and runs under some of the most famous buildings in Britain to London's East End and the Millennium Dome. My first go at driving a real tube train was on Anne-Marie. Would you like to sit in the driver's seat? Oh, I'd love to. It's cosy in here. Yeah. <laughs> Early in the morning, we started out from Stratford Depot, above the ground. 
The trains have to start early because from 8 o'clock all the lines are closed to allow workers safe access to the tunnels. Right, this is where we've got to be careful because we're going to go down the gradient. Although it looks quite different, driving this train was very similar to driving the simulator. Just one handle to control the power. But there was no green board to look out for in the stations. So Derek, this is North Greenwich Station, is it, that we're approaching? It is indeed, yes. I've driven on the Jubilee line. Okay. <laughs> I have to warn you, on the simulator I uh, had a bit of a problem stopping at station. Oh, uh, that's OK. I was delivering some of the thousands of tiles that were going to cover the tube station and I even got to put some on. Lovely! Well, it'll be fine with a bit of polish. And here they are! Tiles are looking good four years on. I think those are the ones I put up. Or was it those? Or maybe... OK, so there are quite a few blue tiles, but you do have to admit, it looks pretty impressive. And not only is this a practical station, it's also a top example of modern British design. delays and difficulties, this latest extension to London's massive underground system arrived just in time for the opening of the Millennium Dome and the millions of extra visitors flooding into Greenwich. This is the Greenwich Meridian, the line which marks zero.